Hi, let's talk about the muscles of the medial compartment of the thigh or the thigh adductor compartment. So what we're looking at here is the proximal portion of the upper limb. Let's orient ourselves. So here is lateral and here is medial. Um, I can I can tell that because I'm looking at here's the quadriceps group and then there's the knee uh, and there's the external iliac artery going into the femoral artery so what we're really focusing on here is this region so let's clean this up a little bit and uh, see what we can see. So the first muscle that I would draw your attention to is this very long and elegant beauty. This is the gracilis muscle named because it is a gracile. It takes its proximal attachment from the body and the ramus of the pubic bone and it is going to have its distal attachment on the pes anserinus or the goose's foot and recall the pes anserinus is the attachment for the sartorius muscle the gracilis muscle and the semi tendinosus muscle and so they are innervated by the femoral nerve, the obturator nerve, and the tibial division of the sciatic nerve. So that gives us our sergeant fought mnemonic. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So we'll erase this mess over here. I should start writing in cursive. It might make this an easier thing for me to, uh, to clean up. Anyways, the gracilis muscle, when active, is an adductor, an adductor of the, uh, of the hip. So that is going to swing the hip toward the midline. And it is also a flexor of the knee. And for our purposes, it's a useful muscle because it is the most medial of all the medial thigh muscles. So everything else that we're looking at is going to be on that side of the gracilis lateral. Speaking of that side of the gracilis, um, and keep in mind the sartorius muscle, which would be coming across here, has been cut away so that we can see some of the, the deeper aspects here. I can see coming down that way is the adductor longus muscle. Um, the adductor longus muscle takes its proximal attachment on the pubic bone. It's actually between the pubic crest and symphysis and its distal attachment on the linea aspera of the femur. And as its name would suggest, it adducts the hip. Um, all of these medial thigh muscles will adduct the hip. Uh, adductor longus is an important muscle for, um, uh, for gait and posture, as it's a synergist for other gait and postural muscles. So it really does its its role in helping to adduct the uh, the hip joint for both uh, stasis and, uh, and movement. Um, and a couple of other sort of interesting tidbits for it. It is the medial boundary right there for the femoral triangle. So the sartorius is the lateral boundary for that. And then the inguinal ligament is the superior boundary for that. And within the femoral triangle, we can find the femoral nerve, artery, and vein. So NAV and sometimes lymphatics in there. So it's navel uh, going from, uh, from lateral to... Uh, to medial. And that adductor longus muscle uh, can sometimes be injured as part of uh, a, an athletic 
uh, boondoggle and whenever you have that terrible sensation of uh, having a pulled groin if, if you've overdone it uh, with respect to, to activity and you injure yourself there it's it's generally going to be that adductor longus muscle so as we move beyond that we're going deep now so keep in mind the the adductor longus which was there has now been removed so we'll get that out of the way and that's going to highlight two other muscles for us the superior most is the adductor brevis adductor brevis uh, takes its proximal attachment to the inferior pubic ramus and like other adductor muscles uh, its distal attachment is on the linea aspera of the femur and like other adductor muscles of the thigh, it is going to adduct the hip. And like the uh, adductor longus, it's also a very important uh, synergist for both gait and posture. Frequently, uh, adductor brevis here is going to uh, blend in and fuse fibers with adductor magnus. Adductor magnus is taking its proximal attachments up on the ischial ramus and tuberosity, so around the back there, and it comes down. It's quite a large muscle for being so hidden here. So all of this is adductor magnus, and it also is going to take its distal attachment on the linea aspera. And uh, like... Uh, like all adductor muscles, uh, it's a synergist for gait and posture, and it adducts the hip. One of the more uh, interesting, uh, I guess, bits about uh, this muscle, uh, at least uh, for me, is that um, distally there's an interruption in the adductor magnus, uh, and it's through that interruption that uh, items such as the... Uh, as the femoral artery travel and on the other side of that it's going to uh, transform into the popliteal artery but we'll see more of that uh, when we discuss the uh, the knee joint so this was a, a great uh, great discussion of the muscles of the medial thigh uh, thank you for your time